Whether you're a new mother navigating the challenges of postpartum weight loss or someone supporting a loved one on this journey. In this video, I will bring to you a few things that you need to know about your postpartum weight loss journey as well as the exercise you should focus on. So let's embark on this transformative path together. 1. There is no one-size-fits-all approach to weight loss. Losing baby weight is different for everyone, it's like your own story influenced by sleep, food, and how you feel. Even your lifestyle and where you live matter. What worked after one baby might need changes for the next. It's not just about losing weight but also appreciating your body's strength, especially during tough times. The journey is about embracing changes with a positive attitude and seeing your body's resilience. 2. The amount of sleep you get can impact weight loss. When you have a new baby, getting good sleep is like finding a hidden treasure, right? But here's the thing, if you sleep less than 5 hours a night, you might end up gaining some extra weight after having a baby. Why? Because not getting enough sleep messes with your hormones and makes you feel super hungry. So, good sleep isn't just about feeling less tired, it's like a secret weapon against those post-baby cravings. 3. Your initial weight loss will happen when the baby is born. Weight loss initiates with childbirth as the baby, amniotic fluid, placenta, and other fluids exit the body, resulting in an initial drop on the scale. Over the subsequent six weeks, ongoing weight loss occurs as body fluids return to pre-pregnancy levels. I distinctly remember shedding almost 11 pounds shortly after giving birth. On average, childbirth leads to a weight loss of around 13 pounds. By the six-week mark, it's reasonable to assume that most of the remaining weight is adipose tissue. 4. Urinating during exercise is not normal. Lots of moms think it's normal to pee a bit when they sneeze or laugh after having a baby, but it doesn't have to be that way. Changes in hormones and the stress of pregnancy and childbirth can cause a problem called stress urinary incontinence SUI. If you're dealing with leaks, talking to your doctor or a pelvic floor physical therapist can help you figure out how to treat it. And surprisingly, doing more Kegel exercises might not be the only solution. 5. Your joints may feel differently. During pregnancy, your body changes, even making your knees more flexible. This flexibility can make walking and running tricky after having a baby, causing joint pain. When getting back into exercise, consider switching to shoes with more cushioning, it made a big difference for me, easing me pain. 6. Losing the baby weight takes time. Losing postpartum weight takes time, with only 20% of women returning to pre-pregnancy weight within the first 3 months, and 24% retaining at least 10 pounds after a year, as per a recent study. On average, 80% of women take more than 3 months to get back to their pre-pregnancy weight. It's crucial to realize that not fitting into pre-pregnancy genes right away is normal, not a failure. While quick weight loss is a common desire, the recommended goal is around 1 pound per week. Patience is key in the postpartum weight journey. 7. Regardless of weight, you will still look a solid 6 months pregnant after you give birth. During pregnancy, the uterus expands from the size of a grapefruit at 12 weeks to that of a watermelon at 40 weeks. Post-birth, it remains enlarged, gradually shrinking over approximately 6 weeks through the process of uterine involution. Contractions and breastfeeding aid in this recovery. Despite childbirth, mothers may still appear pregnant, requiring maternity leggings for comfort. Regular postpartum checkups are crucial for monitoring uterine recovery and ensuring maternal well-being. Now on to some of the best exercises that will help you on your weight loss journey. 1. Mastering the basic breath. Start by prioritizing your breath, especially in the early stages, advises Bowen. Focus on deep diaphragmatic breaths in different positions, lying, sitting, or standing. Begin in a neutral spine position. Inhale and feel your pelvic floor, kegels, rib cage, and abs open. When exhaling, lift the pelvic floor, pull in the abdomen, and close the rib cage, holding for 5 seconds. Gradually progress to 5 to 10 breaths with abdominal contractions multiple times a day. Once you can contract and relax your abdominal muscles without moving your spine, you're ready for the next level. 2. Heel Slides 
Lie on your back with knees bent, arms at your sides. Start by engaging your abs with a basic breath. Slowly slide one leg out, inhale, then bring it back in while exhaling. Alternate legs to complete one rep, keep your back straight. Aim for 20 slides on each leg before moving to the next level. 3. Advanced Leg Extensions Lie on the floor with your knees bent and engage your abs, then lift your legs to a tabletop position. Breathe in as you extend one leg parallel to the floor, and exhale as you bring it back to the tabletop. Switch legs and repeat, ensuring your back stays flat on the floor without arching. Begin with 10 reps per leg, gradually progressing to 20 as you become more comfortable. Once you're at ease with 20 reps, consider advancing to the final level, incorporating more challenging variations or increasing the repetitions based on your strength and comfort level. This exercise targets your core muscles, promoting postpartum strength and overall well-being. 4. Leg Extensions Lie on the floor with knees bent, maintaining a neutral spine and arms at your sides. Start with the basic breath to engage your abs, then exhale to lift one leg to tabletop position, ensuring the knee is in line with the hip and the shin parallel to the floor. Inhale, gradually extending the lifted leg towards the floor without arching your back. Exhale to return the leg to tabletop position and lower the foot. Switch sides and repeat. Progress by working towards hovering your leg about 2-3 to three inches above the floor without touching it. Aim for 5 repetitions on each side without a pause, gradually building up to 20 hovering repetitions before advancing to the next level. 5. Toe Taps Start by lying on the floor with knees bent, keeping a neutral spine and arms by your sides. Engage your abs using the basic breath. As you exhale, lift one leg at a time to a tabletop position with bent knees. Inhale, lower one foot to the floor with control, and exhale to bring it back to the tabletop. Repeat on the other side. Aim for 10 controlled reps for each leg, focusing on a stable lower back. Once you feel comfortable, consider moving to the next level. This exercise targets your core, promoting abdominal strength for overall postpartum well-being. As you embark on this journey, remember that there's no one-size-fits-all approach to postpartum weight loss. Embrace the uniqueness of your journey, prioritize self-care, and celebrate the incredible strength that comes with motherhood. Here's to your postpartum well-being. Stay tuned. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.